Hi, I live in Scotland, in the city of Glasgow, and my project for Turn Down the Heat is to try and get my neighbours in Broomhill to think about installing solar panels on their roofs. So this is Broomhill from above, in fact my house is on that shot, and as you can see, lots of roofs, but no solar panels. So this is a view from the front of our house, looking out over the park, six o'clock on a lovely May evening, and all those roofs, with no solar panels on them, face south. So as you can see, they're roofs of um, what we call tenement flats in Glasgow. There's about four floors worth there. And uh, one of the problems about putting solar panels on these roofs is the question, well, who owns the roofs? They're owned by everyone who's in a flat underneath the roofs. And the system we have here in Glasgow is there's what's called a factor who looks after a set of flats, maybe a bunch of about eight together. Any repairs that are need doing, the factor organises and just bills the owners of the flats for the repairs. No reason why that couldn't apply to putting solar panels on them. Okay, now I'm outside looking at the front of our house and as you can see on that side of the roof there's well there maybe can't count them but there's six solar panels and that bit of our roof faces southwest. And if I pan down the street way at the bottom you can just see it there's another house and yeah it's got solar panels on it they've got ten panels on that roof faces southwest. Yeah, that's our local squirrel. So now we're at the back of our house and there are six solar panels up there. So those six represent one and a half kilowatt array and the six I showed you earlier, which are out of sight now, they're another one and a half kilowatts, so we've got three kilowatts altogether. So a little bit of background information about Scotland. There are lots of reasons to appreciate living here. One of them is that we have the largest offshore renewable energy resource in the European Union. Although we're part of the UK, we have a Scottish government in Edinburgh, which puts renewable energy at the forefront of its policy, reducing our greenhouse gas emissions, supporting energy research, gaining a new job sector. Since 2007, our renewables targets have been met ahead of schedule, increased, then met again, then increased. You get the picture. We're on course to increase this to 100% by 2020. 100% of our electricity requirements will be from renewable sources in just five years' time. The biggest onshore wind farm in Europe is just a few miles from where I'm recording this. The world's biggest array of tur tidal turbines will be in the Pentland Firth in northern Scotland. It involves installing 269 turbines on the seafloor, capturing the energy of the ocean tides up there, and powering 175,000 homes. Last year, wind farms, hydropower plants, other clean technologies provided the largest single source of electricity in Scotland. What we need to do next is move from big projects to small, locally based ones, like this one on the island of Egg, Egg Electric, wind power, solar power, hydropower, or this array of solar panels at campsite near Inverness in the north of Scotland, produces all the electricity for the whole of the campsite. Okay, Scotland's not going to be able to produce electricity from solar panels on the scale that Spain can. This is big solar array that powers a steam turbine, but we are making a start. There's a community solar cooperative in Edinburgh that works with the Edinburgh Council to install solar panels on publicly owned buildings in Edinburgh. That's the sort of idea that should be taking off all over Scotland. So this is where we want to be. High generating capacity, high community ownership. That fits with the kind of values we have in our society in Scotland. Yeah, we want to reduce our carbon emissions, we want to reduce greenhouse gases, but we also want our local communities to benefit from that. Community projects mean that the income stream 
from the renewable projects get fed back into the local community. It's already starting all over Scotland. But how are we going to get this off the ground in Broomhill? Well, I could tell you something about the finances involved. The green bars tell you the number of kilowatt hours we've generated month by month over the last two years. You can see how it goes up in the summer, back down in the winter. Not so much that we don't get sun in the winter, but the sun is very low in the sky. The blue lines are the cumulative savings that we've made each year. And each year we've had the equivalent of £600 per year income from those panels. That represents half of what it costs to heat our house and light it. For every kilowatt hour we produce, we receive a payment for a feed-in tariff coming from the Westminster government. And for half of the kilowatt hours we produce, we receive another feed-in tariff, or a smaller amount, to pay us for feeding that electricity into the national grid. So with that, plus the amount of electricity that we don't pay for any longer because we produce it ourselves, each year we save £600 on a fairly modest family house in the middle of Glasgow. This is a view outside our back window. Um, there's probably about 20 houses in this shot. 20 times 400 is £8,000 over a year. If we add in all the other roofs around this place, then probably in Broomhill alone there could be a, an income of about thirty to 40000 something like that. I'm guessing, haven't counted up all the roofs, but considerable. Now that could go to individuals, uh, or it could go to projects like, well, there's a local school, there's local parks, uh, there are um, voluntary groups that operate in the area, if we had something like this organised, then at least some of the money to be gained from the solar panels could be don donated by us to those projects. I think people here would be very happy to do that. And yes, that is Andy Murray visiting our local primary school. And the next step? The next step is I've got to start talking to people. Thank you, Turn Down the Heat, for getting me to start thinking about this.